Hi, welcome to educators.com. I am Shravanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about the HPA's architecture. So if you see this HPA's architecture, and here we will be having something called a H master. And here we will be having a lot of region server. So if you observe this, it is similar to a master slave architecture. A master is your H master and the slaves are your region servers. And inside your region server, you will be having a multiple regions. And also in case if a client wants to interact with the First of all, it wants to store any of the data or retrieve any of these things. Upon the instructions from your H master and this repeater, it can directly connect to your region servers and it can extract the big data from there. And if you observe, there is something called HDFS. So this Hadoop distributed file system is the underlying layer. If you wanted to store anything, everything gets stored as part of your HDFS itself. Nothing is going to be stored as part of these regions. So again, as part of the H files, everything is going to be stored here. To see in a better way what exactly these uh, H files are and how exactly the fault tolerance is going to be handled as part of your uh, H base, we'll be seeing that in the in the next slides. So if you observe this particular H master. So this master is, H master is nothing but a master slave architecture. This is the master machine, powerful machine. And we have seen the multiple region servers as well, which are slaves. So now master's responsibility is to assign the regions to that uh, appropriate region servers. And before assigning the regions to the region server, it will talk to the two people and it will take the help from the two people. And also, the H master, the master has to perform the load balancing as well. So it will be taken care by your H master. Like which in case if the one of the region servers is full of the region, then in case if they wanted to store the data in the another region server, it will choose the another one. That means it makes sure that the load has been uh, you know, balanced across these new servers. You get the, all these uh, your slave machine. And also here, this H master is responsible for any of the schema changes or any of the metadata changes have been done. That means creation of the tables or creating the column families, adding the column families, any kind of the schema changes, then the H master is uh, uh, make sure that it makes a copy of all of these, you know, the details. And if you see these regions in the region servers. These are all the slave machines. So here the region servers consisting of the regions inside and this will make sure that your client can directly interact with that. Any kind of the read and write operation that can directly your client can communicate with your region servers and it can take care about that. And also here each region servers will be having a memory store. We call it as a mem store. So it, it's like a, just like a cache. That means whatever you are storing it, it stores in the, the RAM. And also in case, let's assume that uh, one of the machine went down. So that machine, whatever the data is there in your mem store, that is also going to be deleted. And that, that is also going to be lost. So to take care about that particular uh, the loss details, we will be having these uh, mem store data. The same data is copied into your val. Val is nothing but there is something called a write ahead logs. So whatever the data is there in the mem store, that will get copied into this write ahead logs, val logs. And again, whatever the data is storing as part of your region, it stores in the HDFS itself as part of the H files. So initially, whatever it is storing in your H base, it stores in the region servers. But still, 
the same that this data is going and storing back into the HDFS as part of your H files. And if you see the regions, this is all the regions. So regions are nothing but a part of tables, part of the data, some data it consists of. If you see this zookeeper, we have seen that in between your client and its master and the region servers, we have some component called a zookeeper. So it, this is a Apache one, this is an open source one, you can freely downloadable. The purpose of this zookeeper is to, it works like a coordination service. Act like a coordinator between all of these your region servers, its master and your clients. And the zookeeper has all the information about all the region servers. And your master H master will really use this particular uh, zookeeper information. Discover what are all the region servers are available. So in case one of the region servers went down, automatically your zookeeper understands that so and so machine went down. So that information will be picked up by your H master. So here, if you are working on any of the pseudo distributed modes, that means not a multi-node cluster setup, that your H base will be, you know, there will not be any zookeepers. Only in the multi-node clusters, whenever you are having a multiple computer, you will be having the zookeepers. Otherwise, even same work, whatever it is doing, it takes care about your direct H master itself. So if you see the in-depth of your uh, region servers, as we talk about the region servers consisting of multiple regions over here, and to make sure that how the fault tolerance works, that means I do have a multiple region servers. So in case one of the machine going down, how exactly it is going to handle the situation is nothing but here, whatever the, the data is there in your mem store, that is in the memory, the same copy is going to be stored as part of your write ahead logs as well. So this write ahead logs will be keep on writing into your HDFS. So in case if this machine is going down, you can still get this val information from your HDFS. So from there you can get back your uh, whatever the lost data is there, you can get it back. So this is how your data is going to be stored as part of your uh, region servers in the HDFS. summary. In this module we have seen that uh, how the HBase architecture looks like with the help of the HMaster and the region servers. HMaster works like a master node over here and the region servers are the slaves and the region servers consisting of a multiple regions that is nothing but it's a part of some table content and also to get the fault tolerance your data whatever there in the mem store it is going to be written into your val those walls will be locked right written into your HDFS. So in case of the failure of those machines, we can get our wall logs and we can get the data back, whatever is there in the main store. This is how the entire architecture looks like. In the next module, we are going to discuss about how to log into the HBase shell and create the tables and execute the commands. Thank you. Let's catch up in the next module.